Hello. If you're watching this and there's no live red in the corner, it's no longer live. However, I will go back and answer questions. Oops. Hi, Sarah. I'm just mixing epoxy. Hi, Sylvia. I'm just mixing epoxy. I'll let some people get on. In the meantime, I'm gonna have another cup. I wanna epoxy real quick. So while we're waiting, I'm going to put some epoxy on it. I'm going to switch it over a little bit. How's everyone doing? We're going to do a sunset cup with uh, glow powders. So one of the things I'm going to start doing is each week, hi Sharon, I'm going to showcase a different type of powder and go live showing different ways to use it. So I think that will help everyone out. Um, on understanding the different uses. A lot of people in the group know all about the uses, so this isn't really aimed at them. So it'll be a little bit of a longer live because I want to make sure that I try and answer all the questions. So, now I'm going to put just a little bit on the cup we're going to use. It's not turning. Why are you not turning? There we go. So, I'm getting the cup we are going to use ready. And I'm not going to add a ton of epoxy yet. Hi, Allie. Again, this is, um, might get boring for those that know how to use the powders. So I will not be offended if you don't stay on. This is really more geared towards helping those others that aren't sure about how to use the powders. And this week we're going to be working with glows and showing different ways you can use them, not just for turners. I'm sorry, not turners, not for cups. <laughs> so bear with me just a moment. Okay. So, uh oh, I'm gonna try. Bear right back, guys. I need my trash can. Sorry about that. Hi, Don. So, what I'm going to do is show how to use the glow powders on a cup, putting them in epoxy, and then I'm going to add my epoxy, and then I'm going to mix them, and I'll tell you what all I got. So, we're going to do a sunset, and we have various powders that will work with that. And we add a little bit to others. So I'll be doing sand, but I actually don't have a powder, a glow powder that's a brown. So for that, I'm gonna be using a mica. So So for the sand, I'm going to use the mica powder nude. And when always when using powders, I'm going to bring it down just a little bit. Hi Sue. When using the powders, you want to kind of fold it in to begin with. Otherwise, you'll get a big. I don't know if you just saw that little bit. That's um, powder coming up. And it's really not healthy for you to breathe if it gets in your face. 
So you'll notice I'm doing it away from my face and I'm taking my time. And the micas are really bad that way. You really wanna be careful with the micas because they will poof up into your face. So this will be our sand, which is nude, is the color. Let me set that down. Then for the sea, I have two different ones and I did not spray paint my cup. However, um, I am gonna use alcohol inks to get the colors that you would normally do spray paint and that's just simply because I was too lazy and it's hot and I spent too much time outside today. And I did not put a ton of epoxy because I really don't want the inks to move around too much. So, having said that, we'll use a yellow at the bottom so that it matches what we're doing. I'm gonna use patina. And again, this is simply to put color on the cup before I mix. And here I am mixing 725, which is the white to blue green glow with a little tiny bit of Tranquil. So you can mix different colors in your glow powders and the basic ratio you want to use is a small amount of color to twice that amount in glow powder. That way you don't lose the glow powder. So that's what I've done here. And I'm mixing it up because the white to blue green is a white powder, more clear. And I wanted a little different color on it. So we mix a little bit of Tranquil with a more of the uh, glow. And after we're done, I will list what, I, what all I used. And all I'm doing is setting them down and what have you. Let me grab some. Most everyone's familiar with the spoons I include. When I say a ratio, like a quarter or a half a spoonful of color to two spoonfuls or a full spoonful of um, glow powder. And that way you still get a good glow. Then next is I'm going to do a blue, which is going to represent the dark, the, the further out ocean. And I have 726, which is a white to blue. And I'm going to use 749, which is a blue to blue. So the white to blue, when I say white, that's the color of the powder. Depends on how much you use. It's fairly transparent. If you use too much, it will basically just kind of put a film over, the, over what you're doing. And the powders are a little bit gritty. And you just mix them. They mix easily. So there's that one. And then we're also gonna do a blue, which is blue to blue. And this is 749. You can see I've just added epoxy and it goes a darker blue. And again, I'm gonna use the alcohol inks to put color on the cut, just mainly because I was lazy and didn't feel like trying to do an ombre with all these colors. And one of the things I found is alcohol ink is a good base. Feel free to ask questions, guys, if you have questions. This is all about showing how to use them. And that's all it is. So there's the blue to blue. Then we're gonna use a red, because it's a sunset. We're not doing a sun sunrise. And the infamous Pale red to red glow that smells horrendous. Does not smell when cured. It has sulfur in it. So it does smell like a rotten egg. But the glow on it is fantastic. I still have not found my UV light. So I have to show the glows after the fact. So we're gonna put that red down so even though it's kind of a lighter red orangish color, you won't really see it. So 
So, and I didn't use too much of that. And then last but not least is purple, which is gonna be the, the very top of the sunset, and I use purple to purple. And there's the color of the powder. And then when you put epoxy in it, it gets darker. The one thing about glow powders is they do not depend on what's behind them to glow. So you can put any color, hi Debra, you can put any glow powder over a color. It won't make any difference. Now, if you put a color over a color, obviously you're gonna see that color. But like if you wanted to do a black, I recommend using quite a bit, but you can put a glow powder over it and it will glow. So and that's the purple. Okay. So I'm going to turn on my iPad so that I can watch questions. And then I'm going to bend you down. Let's see if I can get comments. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, this one. I did that in a live, Deborah. Are you talking about that one right there? That was a fall cup, and I actually did it in a different group. But that is one of the things we're going to show um, probably next week. This week is for glows, and that has more to do with uh, micas. So we'll probably do that next week. Hi, Ashley. All right, guys, so I'm going to turn you down so you can see what I'm doing. And I have my iPad, so hopefully I can keep up with comments. So hold on. I'm sorry, guys, it's going to get a little bit. I still have not found my regular tripod. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me shift it over just a hair. There we go. So, again, it's silver. And yes, I know I taped off the top and the bottom. Um, which I normally don't do. So all I do when I don't paint it is I just drop on some uh, alcohol ink. I'm not trying to do an alcohol ink cup. I'm just simply using it to give my cup the colors so that the silver doesn't show underneath because the glow powders generally are not solid. So they will show, the silver will show through. So that's the sand. And then we're gonna do the patina for the first part of the beach. And again, I did not put a lot of uh, epoxy on this because I don't want these colors to really do a whole lot. I do want my glow powders and stuff to twirl, swirl but not the inks. The, the inks are simply there to provide color on it. Hi, Donna. Hi, Dawn. Deborah, it's in the bigger group that we have. You're in it, I know. And then we're gonna do a darker blue. And I'm just eyeballing. Where I want this. This blue will be dark, but again, when it glows, it won't matter that it's dark. This is just simply to give it color. And that's simply because I was lazy and didn't feel like spray painting. And then we're going to do the red. And then last will be the purple. And then we'll start adding the glow powders. We're going to drizzle it on.
which is one reason I wanted the color underneath. You can also, if you want to do the whole cup, one color of glow powder, you need to paint it a similar color, and it usually takes two coats to get a really good glow. And then last, we're going to put the purple on. And actually, I think I'm going to go with a lighter purple. That one's kind of dark. I'm going to go with Purple Twilight. So all I've done here is cheated on painting a base color because I didn't feel like trying to do all these colors in spray paint. And again, I put a thin layer of epoxy. All right, so the sand, again, we're going to use the nude, which is the mica, because I don't have a corresponding glow color. So I'm just gonna drizzle it on, and I want it to go thicker. I'm fine with that. And I'm doing a fairly good amount, because we all know that sand likes to disappear. So I'm just drizzling it on, that's all I'm doing. And I made up plenty, but I don't have to use it all. You never have to use all of what you have. Don't feel like you do. Okay. So you can see where the sand is now. Next is going to be the 725 and the tranquil I made. And I did just a little bit of tranquil just for the color, not to obscure the glow. So I'm gonna do that, and I'm okay if it gets a little bit in the blue. Because here I don't care if this swirls. In fact, that's kind of the preferred. So I'm okay with mixing, the colors mixing. And I'm not using a whole lot. Again, I'm letting the fact that I put the ink on take care of the base color. So I am going to come up a little bit higher. So I'm just looking to see. Sheila, they're really fun to use. And there's that's what this week is going to be about. Um, it won't necessarily be alive every single night. It'll be showing different ways you can use glow powders. Because with Halloween, there's other ways to use them. So that takes care of the ocean up close. Now we're going to do a little bit of this, which is white to blue. And it's not really going to show a whole lot, but it will show as a glow powder. And it will kind of make white lines in my C, which is fine. Because I'm going to follow it up with the blue to blue. Now for those that have bought you know that one of the hardest colors to get to glow is the purple. I did I did use purple to purple. It will glow. It just takes quite a bit of charging. So that's enough of that. So and you can kind of see it's kind of whitish, but we're fixing to go in with some blue and I have a little bit of epoxy left. I'm going to add a little bit because I want enough. So, for those that are interested, I did a cup full of each side that allowed me to put epoxy on this, which is just, I have it turning since I have stuff turning, as well as a thin layer here and enough to do all these colors. So, it doesn't take a ton. In fact, the, the thicker the powder, or the thicker it is, the less running it will do. So now we're going to add that blue. So you can use the glow powders to accent. You can use them to color. They work both ways, just depending on what you do. Okay, and that's enough. And one of the reasons I didn't put a ton of 
uh, epoxy on it is I knew I was going to be doing this, adding more epoxy. I am going to add a little bit more sand down here. I noticed that it doesn't quite go all the way to the bottom in a couple spots. I will not heat this cup. I'm not a big person about heating up epoxy, and I usually won't do it. And there's no reason on this cup to do it. So now we're going to do the red. So, and I didn't do a whole lot of red. Hi, Mindy. And that's going to go right here. And as you can see, there's I, I didn't make a ton, but there's plenty of powder to go on. And I'm not trying to make it solid. You can, though, if you wanted to. You could just apply it solid with your finger. And I am going to go a little bit into the purple. And a little bit down here. Because I do want some of this to kind of... And for all of you that are getting nervous with that cup next to it, I am not doing it hard enough to get any of this on that cup. So that's that, and last we're going to do the purple. And again, we're just... Now the red is a pale red, and I could have mixed it with another red. I probably should have, but I didn't. And again, anytime you want to mix it with a color, you can. You just need to do basically a 2-1 ratio. So two parts low powder to one part color. And when I say one part color, I mean not very much color. Just enough to uh, darken it. Because the one I used the Tranquil on, I had very little in there. So let me wipe my hands off because I don't want to get epoxy on my phone. Then I'm going to take you off and I'm going to let you look at it. And I do not have great lighting in here yet. Alright. Sorry, I'm going to make you a little dizzy for a minute. I'm going to put the flashlight on and turn it around. Okay. So you can see this is the sand and the yellow underneath, so it gives it some depth. And then this is the little bit of Tranquil mixed with the white to blue green. And it's, I use the um, Patina alcohol inks. Yes, everything was mixed with epoxy. And then here I used the white to blue and the blue to blue. So I did two different ones here. And then this is the pale red to red glow which looks almost white, but it kind of looks really cool looking for a sunset. And then the purple to purple over the purple twilight alcohol. So, there's that. I'm going to put you up here again. Hold on. I promise I will find my tripod so that you guys quit getting dizzy. So, what I did... And you don't have to do it the way I did it. I just was being lazy. I got my cup ready. I put a very thin layer of alcohol uh, of epoxy on it. And then I used alcohol inks instead of spray paint to do my colors. And that's just surely because I didn't feel like spray painting and trying to do the ombre and make it look good. So it was easier. Plus, I really like how the inks give it a depth. So then what I did is I used I used a mica on the sand because I do not have a glow powder that looks like sand. So that's the only one that doesn't have sand, but that's okay cuz it's a sun it's a sunset and that can be dark when it glows. Then I used the white to blue green and I put about that much powder of tranquil in it. And I full one of these of 
the um, 725 glow powder so the reason I send these is so that everyone when I say a spoonful everyone knows it's one of these not is it a tablespoon is it a teaspoon is it this is it that so I use just a little tiny bit of tranquil to give it the color you can do that with pretty much any of the powders you can actually do it with ink I mean you can put some alcohol ink in it and put to give it color you just want to make sure that whatever your color is you do a small amount not a large amount that way you still get the glow then I used white to blue and blue to blue glow powder both in the blue and then the uh, pale red to red glow powder in the red part and the purple to purple in the purple part so that gives you a really nice sunset look gives you depth and what have you so anyone have questions about what we did again I used a full one of these of each side that allowed me to put epoxy on the one that I wasn't using because I needed it to turn and you can see I had plenty of each color left so it doesn't take a whole lot and I did all of this with just those two cups I still have a little bit of this and I have quite a bit of the nude so that's the one I didn't use very much of but it's a really good sand color so and there's not enough of these for me to worry about so I'm not saving them and I'm gonna throw them out there with me while I clean up and then I'm gonna show you I don't know if I'll go live tomorrow night or if it will be Thursday night I gotta look and see what I got going on at work because the next thing we do is we're gonna use glow powder with fingernail clear fingernail polish to accent Halloween items so what I did is I went to the Dollar Tree and I got this little cute owl and we're gonna accent the eyes with the glow powder and we may do the wings and those in the nose and then leave everything else the color it is because you want it almost a little spooky and then I also got this little ghost and we're gonna probably do the eyes the mouth and the little eyes on the spider in the spider with glow powder and we're gonna use um, fingernail polish as a carrier you don't have to use fingernail polish there are other ones other things out there that you can use um, I just like fingernail polish because I can dab it on you don't want to brush it on because then it won't put very much on it and yes I have ink on my fingers but acetone will get it off so anyone have questions if not I'll let everyone go I will post it when I'm able to show how it glows um, which I'll probably be tomorrow um, or in the morning because I'll probably check it before I go to work so I'm gonna go ahead and show you one last time how it looks now there it is again you can see that it's starting to swirl and that's okay look at that that's really cool looking for a sunset so not a whole lot of work but really pretty look at the waves those could be waves you could also after this cures look at that that's one of the reasons I did the the white in there because it's giving it kind of waves you could also mix some white dye and just very carefully put a few after it dries before you put a final coat thank you Rachel so but now remember all of this except for this this will not glow but everything else will glow and I really like how that red did and again I did not use very much epoxy I did really a small amount and I'm gonna try and move my cup a little bit further down because it's a little off 
and not quite straight. But you can see how the waves are doing. So it's gonna be really pretty. So that is the first of our series. I will post the next one, and again, it's gonna be doing that, and then I'm gonna be using uh, glow powders one other way so that you can kind of see how you can use them and that they're used for a lot more than just cups. You don't have to put them in epoxy. We're going to do a candle with some glow powders and see how it does. I don't know how it's gonna do. It does not work with micas. It does work with the neon powders. So I'm hoping it'll work with the glow powders, but we're just gonna do some small um, melts with it and see what that does. All right, guys, thank you for watching. If you have any other questions, go ahead and comment and we'll go back and answer them. Thanks.